like, bro. Is he actually got a kid. Look at his back. Oh my god. <laughs> Another reaction. Say if you're reacting to Mike Tyson and what you learn uh, studying the great conquerors of history. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he would like look into this type of stuff, considering the kind of career he had, how many dudes he destroyed. Since he took DMT, changed yeah. his life. Yeah. yeah. You think you want to do that? DMT? No. I want to do that. Nah. Definitely. Take me to a higher plane of existence. It should really experience. He said, he said he was talking to somebody and he was like, he felt naked. Yeah, they, they say that a lot. It's like That's DMT. It's like some DMT gods or whatever. Like, like you actually like go to the beginning of the universe. Like it, like like you leave the atmosphere. Like it's really weird. Like it's vivid too. Yeah, but what if you what if you're allergic to it? Allergic to it? <laughs> I'm not being. I'm not worried about being allergic to DMT. Just considering how hard his life was. Yeah, you know Mike went through a lot. Uh, Obviously, when he was younger, he was just like a lot more fierce and all that. Like he was like a lot more short-tempered. He went through a lot. Went through a lot, yeah. And he got older. You can see he's like a, definitely a lot more toned, mellowed. Uh, he seems to have like that underlying anger a bit. That's why people would just seem to be <laughs> I get like dudes like man, I don't know, man. They still be trying to test him. Like the reporters and stuff to ask him like crazy question. Like he's not Mike Tyson would like punch him in the face. But yeah, uh, Mike Tyson, man. We want to see what you have to say about these conquerors of history. If you're enjoying the reactions, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Go to 10K subscribers. We're going to hop right into the video. So I know you've been into that kind of shit, like Alexander the Great, yeah. all the, all the, like all the, the conquerors, yeah. Pippin, Shadow and all that stuff. Yeah. 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 I found that the greatest conquerors ever lived um, were farmers. Farmers? I mean, farmers, super rich. Somebody that we don't think that's important. Uh, and then, and they became great from that. They may be a birth to great children. They were born to greatness, like Alexander the Great and stuff. But so did the Macedonian. That whole bloodline of Alexander, they were all kings. They were all kings. So, um, there was one other time before him that was pretty great before he gets the Persians, but eventually they lost. And they pretty much kissed the Persians' ass. You know what I mean? Persians put them in a position of power. Until um, Philip of Philip Macedonia came, who had the nickname, aka Philip the Barbarian. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to go across the and enslave all the Persians and everybody after that for the world. And I was having the great mother who was a really interesting woman. <coughs> I'm trying to say Albanian, maybe, and they had a different He's going deep in the world, man. He knows. Studying it's crazy. Stuff like this. So I'm deep into all this. Too, so. His family didn't like her for that, but um, she arranged for, she arranged for Alexander's father, I think, to kill her. So Alexander had the powers, and her kids had the powers she could lead to her kids while he was on campaign, right? And, um... When he was on these campaigns out there for us, he just conquered everything. But when he ran into the Afghanistan people, we fell in love with them. We wanted to agree with them, we wanted to create new ways of life. And he just madly fell in love with them. And that's pretty much why his, his family is. It's not saying that the Greeks went, um, what was it? Not only really on him, mm -hmm. because they were jealous that they were given big positions to, um, <coughs> No, Afghanistan. He loved him. He was quote, that Afghanistan the most beautiful people in the world. God must have loved them more than anybody. He made them beautiful. He really fell in love with them. When did you start getting really into that conquerors? When you uh, started 15. Getting, you 15? Yeah. What, what introduced you to it? Um, I was at the table eating with Cuss and a friend of mine named Craig Wolf said a statement that she was wrong, but it sounded really good to make me investigate. He said Alexander the Great at his time was like 6'5", six, so 6'5", six, 300 years before Christ, that was a giant, which was wrong. He was very small. The arm was too big for him. He was a really small guy. Mm. He wasn't big at all. 
And so just that alone, him saying that, that you understand. Yeah, well, exactly. Like, with the mom, the like, math guy did not find that he's a small man, average guy. You know, he's not a math monster at all. Not a big man at all. But you got interested in the, the mindset of the conquerors. Yeah. To, well, listen, this is what I want to know. <laughs> listen. Why would one person think that he could fucking own the whole world? One person. Why would he have that mind? Who would think like that? Right. Why would a man person? Why would that's not a fucking person? That's just something. When your ego's just got so out of whack, yeah. where you just she just can't think rational. How do you think like that? And you're a nice person. It was a guy before him, a couple hundred years before, named Cyrus the Great. He was just like, he was a conqueror, but he was a conqueror for liberty. He wanted to conquer all the slaves and let them go. Conquer all the slave masters, let them go. He got killed for that too, but you know, who the heck, maybe that sounds, that sounds cool too, right? Yeah. That's good, that's a good thing. But listen, think about it. Who the fuck is he to take somebody else's property, take somebody else's stuff because he believes it's wrong? Which it probably is wrong. I think it's wrong, but who the fuck is he? Who is this guy to take other things to conquer you? You don't want to know why, but this is what they did back then. And you're killing them. And back then, it was really legal. It's almost in the Bible. It's in the books. It's not, I won't say, but it's in books. Slavery. It's in the books. It's in the religious books. Come on, I'm saying, man, stuff. I be whining and stuff now, but it's sweet. Yeah. I'm saying, you got it easy, but. It's just, uh, it's just, there's really no risk nowadays. Yeah, you know? imagine, like, in your, like, you're living a normal life and somebody take over your village for no reason. And annihilates the you entire nothing, town. You have nothing to do with nothing. All your friends are gone. Your friends sold into slavery. Yeah, uh, your, your house is burning down in front of you. Family's killed. It's just yeah, crazy. Yeah, people want to ration your village and shit. Yeah, it's nothing to do with you, too. You're just a peasant. Yeah, you said. You just don't farm work. It's yes, farm work. Time you can't just came from school. Trying to feed your family. You ain't really doing that. Now you got some Romans coming out of nowhere, screaming, hollering, stabbing, stabbing, stabbing people on the side. Ah, ah, my God! It's like it's ridiculous, bro. I, I couldn't imagine them back then. Yeah, because everything was just like. Bro, the sieges, they would siege cities for like four or five years. You imagine your, you imagine your city being surrounded and being bombarded by like. These grown men with uh, swords. Yeah, catapults and shit. Like, that's ridiculous, man. It's like, I don't know, this is a whole different ball game. And this guy's gonna say, hey, no more slaves. 500 BC, so he's gonna say, no more slaves. No more slavery is wrong out to the whole world. So he wants to conquer the world and free all the slaves. Wow. So that's just a different mindset. Yeah, there are different kinds yeah. of mindsets that yeah. these conquerors have. But, who, the, but who, who, who do you think right. he is? Who the hell is he? He has this little town over here. How he's gonna go over the whole world? His town is right here. Well, forget his town. His country is right here. Yeah. You know? And he don't even, he haven't even conquered his country yet. Now he's gonna conquer the world and liberate freedom, make freedom. What kind of, now that's nothing. If that's not somebody on drugs, you know, you tell me. <laughs> no, you tell me, now be right. honest. If that's not yeah. somebody high, you tell me. It could be Coke. No, this nigga, it's something. <laughs> it's right? something. Now, yeah. I'm gonna free everybody. Right. This Talking is the one of the five hundred BC. This is the way of the world. No, the mom whispering in his ear, he's a god. Inhaling stuff in our face. Look, everybody. Yeah, he's doing that. What did you get out of like who's the gens back then? They must be studying Temujin. It wasn't as strong as now, but you got to think. Mike Tyson talking about changes. Like, imagine back then we were worshiping Zeus. Come on, you know what he's saying? He must have got. He must be like, oh my god. I I'm found one. out that the greatest is what I have to do. The best, the most political. Got nothing cloth on? Or mama's boys. Mm. Yeah, afraid of their mother. Wow. Napoleon, Alexander. You know what I mean? Wow. Genghis Khan, too? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What do you, what do you think that is? Huh? What do you think that's all about? How do you respect their mother? I'm mean, think of their. Um, I think their mothers were the first. I don't think I was going to great. I think she was the first stage mother. I think there was some before her too. Mm. You know. That, that's that's a lot. In like in a lot of cultures, it's like the mom that really kickstarts all the things. Like I was I was like looking at the Mayans and uh, I forgot what the leader was called, but the he like like the the great building, like he building like the the Mayan pyramids. Yeah. She was like, uh, she had to fool people. He had to fool people to think that his mom was like a goddess. 
so you can become king there. I mean, it's just like a whole bunch of weird stuff. I'm like, so it's like it's like mostly the mob that like starts all the things. Yeah, especially back then. You see, why like the uh, goddesses back then? They had more of a feminine undertone and all of that. Just this is that motherly. This is that motherly thing they would initiate with their nature or whatever pantheon they would be worshiping or whatever belief they have. Like the women just took up that role. Yeah, but it's weird. It's like they didn't get any respect. No, women. I feel like women respect. Respect in what way? Because we tend to think about respect in the, the more modern way of of respect. Like I mean, like there was no equality back then. It wasn't equality. It was just it's natural, just the way it was. It's just just what worked. Why would you question that? I mean, it's just, <laughs> 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 but yeah, man, Mike Tyson uh, conquers, man. Mike Tyson mellowed down, so I'm not really su I'm not really surprised with the stance he took. Later on, with the whole uh, Alexander conquering other people's countries and all that, so uh, you know, you think you kind of seen how much power he may have had within his career and all that, and how it just completely, in the end, he still was left alone with nothing. The people he thought would have been there for him weren't there. Uh, what power did he really have in that situation? I think he looked at those kind of guys. And he just he has to kind of pick, Nick pick and see like what flaws he may be hiding or something like that. I don't know. Mike Tyson, an interesting dude. This is an interesting video. Let us know if you want to see more of this stuff down in the comments. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share with the 10k subscribers. We'll see you next time we'll be here. Peace.